Buongiorno, buonasera e benvenuti amici. Welcome my friends and welcome to my channel, Fountain Pen Therapy. Well, the therapy I have for you um, this time is another pen from Turkey, um, Istanbul, Turkey. Uh, must say I've been wanting to order um, a pen from this company for some time now and I finally got around to it and I have absolutely, absolutely no regrets. So without any further ado, let's go to my overhead camera and let's take a look at this pen. Well, here's the box and here's the name of the company. The, num the, company, the pen company is by the name of Kilk. Kilk pens, if you will. Uh, very nice box. Um, art shelled with a magnetic, magnetic, you know, closing mechanism. On the side we have, it's the epigram model and the Veritas, and we'll take a look at why that is in just a, a few seconds. Um, box has no other inscriptions on it other than that. When we open up the box, here it is. We've got some Nice goodies. First of all, a just a hard plastic card. I'm not sure what this is for, frankly. There may be some use to it. I just haven't gone around to figure it out. But we see the three models of the Vincit Omnia Veritas epigram model. Uh, the swirl brown, the swirl green, and the swirl blue. And it's the swirl brule that we'll take a look at uh, today. Uh, it comes with a pen jewelry care tissue uh, to shiny up the the resin, uh, I would believe. Um, it also comes with a little booklet. And in that booklet, we have some very interesting information that I want to share with you. So let's take the pen out, out of its box. Actually, put away everything else. Um, let me just get my knight in shining armor. Um, here we go. That's the pen. Isn't it nice? Uh, first of all, so it's the epigram fountain pen, and I'm reading from the little um, booklet here that I have. The body is a resin material. As you can see, I like that, um, that white marbled swirl. Yeah, it's a marbled white swirl if you will very very nice cigar shaped or torpedo shaped if you will pretty classic design has no clip which what which is something that makes this pen i think interesting especially with the thinner band because it does go thinner in between here um, and we'll look, take a look at that band in a second um, so the band first of all it's silver and it's aged matte silver and the inscription on it uh, i'm not sure the camera picks it up is omnia veritas vincit or veritas vincit ominas i forget my latin now uh, but essentially what that means is that the truth conquers all so as the if you go on their website they they dedicate this uh, pen to seekers of the truth. And from what I understand, the inscription on the aged matte silver can also be customizable. So you can, I believe, choose whatever you wish to, uh, um, to inscribe on it. What caught my attention was Vincit, because my name is Vincenzo. So it's a derivative of uh, win or victory, if you will. So that's the outer shell. Now, let's uh, take a look at the nib, because that is one of the fascinating uh, parts of, of the pen, that, of this pen, that I really, really was surprised with. It's a Kilk V2, sorry, Kilk V2 mirror steel. It's a, it's a shiny steel. I guess it's a Kilk nib. It really writes like a Bach nib, and I'm not sure it is. I haven't done enough research to be able to confirm it. But let me tell you, this nib 
and you'll see it in my writing sample in just a few s seconds, is wet, smooth, thick, constant, springy. Uh, those are about the, 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 the descriptions of this nib. I absolutely love it. It's a broad, actually it's a double broad. So as you may know, I prefer stub nibs. But if all my broad or double broad nibs wrote like this, um, they'd be on my list as well. Very, very, very nice, I've got to tell you. And we'll get to that in a second. Now, some of you want to absolutely know, I'm not sure what the value of it is, but I'm more than willing to share that information is how many turns. And I've noticed a lot of my colleague reviewers uh, get into how many turns it takes for the pen. I haven't been able to figure out the importance of it, um, but this one, if I start with the, the R on Veritas, one, one turn. So it's a one turn, one turn, okay? So for those of you that are interested in that kind of information, one turn, can it be capped? It's, it's a flimsy uh, capped, I should say, posted. It, it, can it be posted? Yes, but I, I feel like I have to really, you know, push it down, and I don't like pushing my pens. I don't like posting my pens because they scratch and, and all the rest of it. I, you know, it's too big when it's posted. I, I, don't, I don't recommend it. You don't need to post it. It's got a nice size. I've got to tell you, just a perfect size. At least for me it is. Uh, I like bigger pens. Uh, some of you may have been able to figure out to date, but you know what? Even um, even this one, which is a little bit shorter, it's got a nice girth. And that Veritas Vincit Omin, uh, Omni inscription, it just, every time I write, I take a look at it, 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 it you feel like you're writing with something that is rich and, and uh, juicy, <laughs> if you will. I don't know if I'm... Uh, if I'm describing all of this properly. But that's the pen. I'm really, really happy with it. I must say, I do not regret my purchase. The only thing I regret is having waited so long. There you go. Now, let's do a, a um, size comparison. So, let me put my kilk in the middle there. As you can see, I have me or my brand new Delta Dune Horizon that I've just reviewed. Next to it is my one of my first uh, Leonardo Officina Italiana Positano. Uh, blue, you can see it's just the two rings here, so it's one of the originals with the Bach nib. This is a S-Vine uh, Titanium Demonstrator. Very nice pen, by the way. I'll be reviewing that shortly. Uh, as you can see, there's my uh, Kilk. Next to it is my Karas, um, a resin pen. And then I have my Osprey Milano and a Moonman C1 or C2. I, forget, I keep mixing them up. I think it's the C1. That's the Moonman. So as you can see, it's not one of the biggest pens in my collection. Although I got to tell you, this Asvine... Um, Titanium is, is, is a pretty nice size pen. And when I put it next to the Kilk, there's a very, very fine difference. And it's certainly bigger than my Delta and my Leonardo Officina. So there you go. Um, very nice. So let me take out the pen. Um, in terms of my um, the ink... I don't have the bottle, but I uh, the, the ink I, I, I inked it with is the Sailor Sailor Blue Black, the classic Sailor Blue Black, I believe. So that's the ink that's that's in here right now. The journal I will be using today is my journal where I keep track of my pens, which is the Atoma Copybook. This is the Atoma. Uh, I don't know if some if I've had the chance to. Uh, or if you've had the chance to see one of my videos where I use this notebook. The reason why I like this notebook is that it gives you, let me just uh, 
do a close-up here so you can take a better look at it. What I find uh, nice about the the way this, um, uh, just the lines are all set out here, uh, this is meant to be the date, the attending. It's meant to be notes. It's meant where the place. So this is meant to be like a minutes uh, book, if you will. But I've turned it into my keep track of all my new pens as I get them. Uh, so I put a pen here, the name of the pen, the nib, what kind of nib is in it. I do a brief review of it along with a uh, some just to see what kind of um, line variation I can get. And uh, then I go ahead and I, I do a rating and I see whether or not um, I, it's a go-to pen for me. So let's. I propose that we do the same thing for this kilt pen. Okay, so first and foremost, the pen. It's a kilk. Epigram. Blue swirl. The nib is a kilk steel mirror V two double broad. That's the description that I see on one of the booklets I showed you. You know the the little booklet that I have for you, and that's the that's where I got the description right there. Kilk V2 mirror steel. So here we go. Now the pen is very comfortable. Writing experience. Or the pen gives, I should have said. The nib, and I'll repeat, is smooth, constant, wet, and thick, double broad flow. As you can see, very, very nice, I must say. Very, very, very nice. It's a little springy to the point where I don't want to completely spring and, and and ruin the nib. But as you can see, it gives you a little bit of line variation, which is always fun. And given how thick and smooth it is, uh, it, it, it makes it very interesting. So um, I must say I'm very, 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 very happy with this. Now, in terms of the rating, the pen itself, in terms of built and design, you know, I, it's a cigar shaped, but it's, it's got some originality to it in that it is, you know, thinner in between. And this matte or this aged matte band is what really gives the pen some character. So I, I, I'm going to give it a 9.8 for its built and design. In terms of quality, you can tell it's, quality quality manufactured pen the nib is what I'm ecstatic about so um, if there is such a thing as a 10 it comes close but for a steel nib I give it a 9.9 .9. it's one of my favorite steel nibs it writes like a gold nib um, in terms of um, design we've gone through that in terms of value I must confess, I forget what I paid for it, but I remember it being very, re very reasonably priced, uh, somewhere between 100 and 200, but it, it may be something like around 140. But I, I just, uh, for the life of me, I should have looked that up, uh, but I just, um, it just uh, forgot. So in terms of value, I remember 
uh, waiting to order it, and then when I saw the price, I jumped on it. So that right away, I think the value is 9.7 for its quality. Is it a go-to pen? Absolutely go-to pen. No, no, no hesitation. Yeah, here I'd like to put springy. In the in the in the nib, because it springs like a gold nib, so uh, very very nice. So that's the that's the um, writing sample. Here we go. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Again, if you find this, you've got it in green, you've got it in brown. Um, let me tell you, go to pen quality from Istanbul. Very, very nice. I recommend it. There you go. It's really nothing that I don't like about this pen. Uh, everything is, 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 is just right. Thank you very much. Please subscribe. If you have any comments, please don't hesitate. Thank you and have a great day.